I'm Wiley Dufresne, the chef owner of WD-50 and all the restaurants here in Manhattan, and today we're making Eggs Benedict. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack our eggs into anything, really, because that's gonna make getting them in the water much, much, much easier. We're gonna bring the water up to a boil, but then we're gonna take it off the heat before we put the eggs in the water because we do not want our eggs to be rubbery or, or to overcook. If you add a splash of vinegar in there, you're gonna get a little bit of help giving your egg shape. There is a possibility if you put too much vinegar in there, it could actually make the outsides of the whites almost begin to get a little bit leathery, and then you also have to be aware of it contributing flavor. We're gonna remove it from the heat, and one way of helping cool the water down is to spin it slightly. That's gonna help drop the temperature a bit. And I do think a little tiny bit of motion is helpful to keep your eggs from touching each other, and it will also help help the, the, the whites sort of wrap around. But you don't want a, a crazy vortex. So now we're just gonna go ahead and slide our eggs in one at a time. You wanna get right up to the water. You don't wanna drop, you don't wanna plop. You wanna look for a space to jump in the pool and, and go right in. I'm gonna set a timer for four minutes. Personal preference is always important, like somebody may like their egg cooked a little bit more, cooked a little bit less. We're looking for that almost custard-like texture. So it's been just about four minutes now. You could just go right to the plate at this point, but what I like to do is drop them for just a second in an ice bath and that's gonna allow us just to clean it up for a second. This is mostly for presentation. If you leave it in the ice uh, bath for any longer than a minute, I would say go back into a warm water bath. Otherwise, you're just gonna be serving a uh, not very hot egg. That right there is a pretty nice egg. The hollandaise is a little bit less forgiving because it happens much quicker and it's happening at a higher temperature. We've got four yolks, We've got a, just a squeeze of lemon. We're gonna take pinch of salt. We're just gonna beat, whisk that up, and we've got uh, half a pound of butter. Again, we're cooking eggs. We wanna keep in mind that we don't want anything to get too hot. It's just very easy for the eggs to scramble, so you wanna be careful. So that's why we're going on and off the heat above that steam bath. If I, could, if I couldn't put my hand here, I would know that it was too hot and that uh, it was probably at that point time to start over. I like a nice, firm, stiff hollandaise. So we're gonna take these eggs as far as we can before we begin to incorporate our butter. It's really getting thick, almost beginning to ribbon. So we're, we're almost there. So we're just gonna begin to add our, our butter a little bit at a time, put it back on the heat. If you dump all the butter in at once, you run the risk of uh, overloading the emulsion and it could potentially break. So we like to add it maybe in thirds so that you don't run the risk of uh, of it splitting. Again, we're checking our pan is not too hot. At this point, our butter's fully incorporated and you could stop if you wanted. This is a perfectly respectable hollandaise at this point, but I'd like to see it get a tiny bit thicker. It's got a little bit more body. It's gonna hold itself on top of that egg instead of just running off. So now all we have to do is adjust the seasoning. Eggs should not be intimidating. There is a lot that can go wrong, but let's be honest, what, it was four minutes, right? So you have another four minutes to start over. It's not the end of the world. It's incredible that something so simple can be so challenging and so difficult and offer so much opportunity. I don't know, there are just infinite possibilities with an egg.